Okay, so in this video, I'm going to check on my speaker. It's uh, very distorted and rattling when I have, uh, you know, the music on. What I did to take this off, you see my previous video about taking the window switch off. You pop this out, right? And behind this, you will see this bolt hole which is a T30. Also, you will see another one here, which is another T30, which you can find right underneath the door handle with this hole right here. You, un you unbolt that, and there is a flat spot underneath this door. You can feel it. When you're reaching underneath here, and you start prying up all the way around this door, and eventually it will come off well what i need to do is see what is what is actually wrong the speaker or i guess i don't even know what to call it's a sub so let's let's turn the car on an accessory mode and see what's making noise What sucks is that I can't really put music because then I'm going to be, uh, going to be copyrighted. So let me try. You see, I've had to even drive with the balance. So now I got to get some kind of bass in here. But I don't want to get <laughs> freaking copyrighted. So I'm going to try and see how I can make this work. All right, so I found a station that probably won't get me copyrighted. Let me do this quick and show you. Can you hear that? Now, it's doing like a very weird uh, vibrating sound. It just sounds really bad. So to eliminate that, we could actually disconnect this right here. We, let me see, can I? And just to verify it. Give me a second. I'm doing this one hand. Okay, so I disconnected this right here. As you can tell or hear, it's still making that sound. So yeah, we just uh, confirmed it's the speaker over here. So I'm going to remove that. That looks like it's probably a couple of eights. Four eights right there. I'll get the part number. I'm not trying to upgrade this. I'm not trying to put the bow system or anything. I just need it to sound better so I could drive. So let me get this apart. See if maybe there's a part number in, part number in here. I think what happened is maybe they left the window open and water got in. Because if you can tell, the, w the window switch I got over here is all nasty and corroded too. So I'm going to take this apart. You can see another video I'm making on that. Alright, so let me take this apart and I'll get back. Real quick, since I'm walking away, I gotta actually take the door uh, panel off. To get this off, I think we're gonna have to swing this this upward like this, and there we go. Everything comes out. Now we could assess the damage with these stupid clips. All right, so got the four seven, okay, <laughs> four seven millimeter bolts off. And here it is. Let me disconnect this over here. Alright, so if you notice, there is a little tab in here. A little blue tab that we're going to have to get with a pocket screwdriver. Sorry for the angle. Come on. I'm gonna work with the video and prime this out. Right, I'll be right back. Alright, so I removed it. I saw that these contacts here were corroded, so I tried scraping them off, plugging it back in, 
and nothing. So I'm assuming this is the part number. I see 15210475 Delco Electronics 0265D M1HE7 assembled in Mexico. 20 ohms or 2 ohms, something like that. So I'm going to go on the computer and see uh, see what I can do, see what I can get. Uh, the connector looks pretty good. It's just a little, like I said, a little rusty on, on these contacts over here. I tried scraping them up, seeing that'll change, but no. All right, so I'll get back to this when I get him in the mail. All right, so I got my new speaker. I got this from Dino's Corvette Salvage. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully it's the right one. I think they've upgraded or updated the part number since they've made the car. It took a little bit of research to find it, but I'm not gonna pay a hundred something dollars or even more. Brand new. Okay. So here's the new one. Or new used. It's the same connector. This is the old one on this side. Okay. Where's the connector? Okay, so here's the connector. Two pin. Two pin. Alright. I think this is the new number. 2275-3191. This is the older number. Alright, so let's... Let's connect it. Looks good from here. I gotta put the panel on and connect it. All right, so I'm gonna start doing that now. Okay, so let me give you a quick reminder of what this used to sound like. I'm only gonna partially connect this because it's pretty difficult to connect and reconnect. So let me just try and let you see what it sounds like. All right, so if you could hear that bass kind of rattling pretty bad. That's what the old speaker used to sound like. So let me switch it up so you can hear what it sounds like now. I hope I don't get mon demonetized. I just have to try and find something real quick. Wow, big difference. You hear the bass, but it's not a bad rattle. Actually, let's connect it. There we go. Uh, it might be hard to hear, but that's way better. All right, guys. That was just a quick uh, change of the speaker. I'm not upgrading to a Bose system. I'm not changing the heads-up display. I just simply wanted to change the speaker so I can hear my music when I'm cruising a little better not that annoying rattle having to keep on adjusting the bass or the the treble or the front to back or side to side balance and basically to reinstall this you just put the four screws that were in here um, and you put the panel back yeah I mean some guys even put some dynamat in here to quiet up the ride this isn't a show car you know I drive this to cruise around you know, I don't really even listen to the radio that much. I kind of just, you know, obviously this engine is so badass that this is what it needs. Uh, not, no, this is what I don't really need to, to be driving. But just when I do occasionally want to hear some music, that's why I changed it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped out. Talk to you soon. Peace.